So as you can see, this Bridgy Y120 vac is charged. This is a keyboard vac. You've got your blower side with your blow attachment, which of course you could use the, this is a blower attachment, but I think the round one is designed to be the blower attachment. And you've got, of course, the bristle brush for the uh, vacuum attachment. Now when you press the power switch here, it simultaneously will blow out this side and intake the air on this side. So you could use, I'll show you the blower side first, turn it on, you can hear the volume. You want to press, so you hear the volume of it. And you can see it blowing. It has a decent amount of airflow. I wouldn't say tremendous amount, but you can see clearly blowing dust around. And then if you check the, the other side, we'll see how much you get from there. Let's take the blower off, and we'll see here. Uh, Stone blower mode. Let's turn to intake mode. That's okay, so intake. Still taking. It's got a little bit of suction. I mean, it's not like a handheld. It's not like um, a floor back or anything. But we'll see how it does here. On the keys here. Overall, it has a lot more, a lot more output in the blower side, and a lot less on the intake side. So let me see if I can figure something out here and see if I can get that to be better. Okay, so I wasn't happy with the performance of the Y120 keyboard vac when I just used my Logitech keyboard over here because there was a lot of dog hair on it, dirt, dust, and I talked to the brand, and they thought. You know, dirt that adhesives through the sweat or moisture might be harder for a little vac to pick up. So I came up with an idea that I was gonna try just plain, a little bit of cornstarch powder, you know, just to simulate a little bit of dust going on, you know, sprinkle it a little all over. And obviously this is an excessive amount of dust, but it's dry, it's powder. And let's see how the suction does picking up, just say, you know, cornstarch dust. And if you can see it does a good job with this stuff, then you know it, it relatively should do a pretty good job. And you can see here, now granted, it's very fine, right? Regular dust isn't gonna be as fine. So as long as it generally picks up all the dust, it should do a decent job on the suction. So as you can see here, it's doing a much better job looking at surface layer cornstarch. And it leaves a little powder behind, but then you can do the blower and see the powder blowing around over there. A little bit of powder blown on there. So looking at it from that perspective, it actually does a little bit of a better job. If the dust is dry and not wet and it's not dog hair, the shop back does a little bit better. You can see, see that is not too bad. Now don't worry about the mouse pad. The mouse pad is felt, so it's not a truly flat surface, but you can see it did a relatively good job removing almost all the, like, a relatively good job so in looking at it like that it isn't so bad so really it's a hit it's a hit or miss depending on what kind of gunk is built up on your keyboard obviously if the gunk is a little stickier or it's stuck on you're gonna need something like um you know like a cleaning gel or a cleaning gac that could pick it up and adhesive it or a really really strong pressure blower for some of that dog hair and stuff of that but if it's just casual dust surface dust or things like that you could see that the y120 actually works out fairly okay so I want to say that, you know, in this test, this isn't too bad, honestly, if you see how I poured the cornstarch over it and did this test on it here. So it's not as bad as my original review showed because my dust and dirt on my Logitech C130 was a little more adhesive and was a little stickier and the vacuum had a little bit more time with it. Now, I do think the Absorb needs a little bit more suction. If they can improve that by 20 to 40% or whatnot, it would definitely get higher marks. So my but it's not terrible, and I think it's a you know, good average to slightly above average rating after I tested it with the cornstarch test. Thank you.